Yo, welcome to The Appliance Show. It's Jonathan, The Appliance Dude, coming at you from Curto's in Westchester County. I'm so excited. The heat is still on. The heat wave continues. The humidity is up, and I love it. I don't know if it's my, um, my Sicilian bloodlines, but I just am one that loves the heat. What I want to do is talk about the iconic product, okay? And iconic, I'm not mincing words when I use that term. Okay, the iconic product that Viking has, which is their range. Okay, and this to me, this product, and I don't care what has happened to them in the prior years of mismanagement, missteps, and this and that, and doors falling off refrigerators or whatever the hell else it may be. The fact of the matter is, is that nobody can take away the fact that they did create, and there aren't many businesses out there who can say this, they did create an iconic American brand and product with their ranges. Okay, and I, I mean, how do I look at Viking as far as the ranges? I'm a guitar player. I look at them as like a Stratocaster, a Gibson, a Fender Stratocaster, a Gibson Les Paul, a Ford Mustang if you're a car enthusiast. I mean, it's just a, it's an iconic product that they'll write about, and they have written about actually in some very good business books, which I've devoured over the years. And the cool thing, or the telling thing, is actually that it no matter how many problems the company had over the past whatever, however many years, the brand still was able, for the cooking products in particular, was still able to kind of rise above all that. When you're doing gas, they give you options. They're one of the few companies that, in the professional range market, will give you a gas self-cleaning range, okay? Another thing they do, which is very interesting, this is actually one of their older products, which I think actually might make a comeback now, is they do offer an open burner range. Yes, the whole buzz in the industry for years now has been sealed burners, Okay, Wolf has got the sealed burner, Thermidor, Monogram, this, that, boom, boom, bang, whatever. Now, Viking always offered an open burner range because an open burner range is really what they use in restaurants, okay? And Viking still has this open burner range, the VGIC. Um, can't say it sells a lot, at least out of this store, but I will tell you, I think it's actually going to be on the up and up. It's going to make a comeback. So what you have to do when you consider their gas range is after you fin finalize the size, you got to say to yourself, do I want the open burner, which there aren't many actually ranges which actually will offer that open burner. So you'll go open burner or sealed burner. Okay, let's just say we're going to stick with the sealed burner because I don't think the audience is going to be vast that's going to want the open burner. So I'm doing a sealed burner, 30, 36, 48, 60. Okay, now what am I doing? Am I going with a self-cleaning gas range? Or am I doing a manual clean, which would be substantially less? That you have to decide. Then within that pecking order also, you will have other decisions to make. If you step there, this bad boy over here, where is it? Okay, there. The VGCC over here, 53, I think it's a 5304. As beautiful as this range may be, there are some limitations to it. For example, for example, it does not have, ah, you know what that means? doesn't have rolling racks in there, doesn't have ball bearing racks, okay, which we love. So for those who want to spend a little bit less and still have this Viking Pro range, this might be the direction to go in. If you must have your telescopic ball bearing racks, they have a model with that or several of them, okay. The infrared broiler inside of the oven, that's pretty much status quo within all the Pro uh, ranges. That is a must have, especially for those of you who want to sear their meats the right way. Um, the burners up top, you know, you've got your cast iron grates over here. I mean, this thing is just an animal. And the thing I like about this, okay, it's heavy, it's sizable, it's a good workout. Gyakozuki. Um, the thing about it is, is like, I like the fact that they're individual grates because I find the brands that have the connect to the continuous grates, um, they're just too heavy. And I mean, you know, I just find for somebody who maybe has, maybe they have carpal tunnel, they have wrist problems, whatever, they'd be very unruly to try to lift those things and manipulate them. The way they've actually put these grates together, they're actually are, they are continuous. So even though they're not connected, thus the advantage being they're lighter, um, you can still slide pots. It's got the brass burner. Hell yeah. The brass burner. You know, there's been a lot of debate in the industry about these brass burners, whether they're really worth their weight. Where's the camera? There we are. Um, you know, the thing about the brass burner is why it's considered a, um, why it's considered a premium uh, feature is that brass will hold up to the intense heat better than other uh, metals will. Uh, it's, it might even be non-corrosive, I'm not sure about that, but um, the fact of the matter is it should stand up over time.
comes down to is, is this the right brand for you? Now, it is not the most inexpensive brand. We know that. Again, we're talking, when I start throwing words like iconic around, you damn well know that it's not going to come at a low price point. I mean, it's pricey, you know, but it's right there with its, uh, with its competition. And um, the cool thing about it is actually they're offering a, um, a promotion right now where if you buy the Viking range, you get a free Viking dishwasher, you know, for what that's worth. And um, yes, I know there were problems with those dishwashers, but they've been cleared up. Um, the other thing is that if you buy the Viking refrigerator in the package, then boom, you got yourself a Viking hood as well for free. So I think it's called You Cook, We Clean, something along those lines. And that will be going on for the rest of this year. So again, that's something that can potentially save you probably upwards of over $3,000 when all is said and done. It's a nice program. Is it very original? No. Thermonor has been doing it for a couple of years now. It's a great success. Um, so I think Viking basically, hey, why not just copy what's working and uh, I think we'll move numbers with that promotion. It's definitely something to consider. Uh, so that's basically it on the Viking range. Um, I'll try to do some more videos and some blog posts focusing on certain model numbers and really start to get in deep. But I think this is like a decent broad overview. Um, I think you should be comfortable looking at this brand again. I think you should be very, very comfortable looking at their ranges. Um, they're beautiful. I can't think you walk into a kitchen, a nice home, and you see a 48 inch Viking, maybe even in a color. Wow, it's breathtaking. Um, so think about it. If there are any questions, please email me, Jonathan at Curtos.com. But I definitely dig the Viking. It looks good. It feels good. It smells good. It is good. Any questions, hit me up. Thank you. Us.